I slept in way late, but I'm still very tired. <laughs> Why am I always sleepy? I'm gonna blame it on the weather. It's been snowing all day today. Although it's not really sticking much. I think we've got like maybe two inches or something. You've been getting all the rains though, right? Mikey. What's that? Sorry. I was saying it was snowing up here, but I, I imagine down where you are, it's not. You're probably getting a lot of rain, huh? It snowed briefly um, yesterday morning, but yeah, it, it was. Uh, it's been raining for basically the past week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been. Actually, it's been kind of like that up here too. So. Mm. All right, I finished my coffee, and now I can finish the game, maybe. Well, probably not finish. I don't think we're near the end yet. I know that there's a Valentine's Day event, so it goes, like, to March or whatever. All right. What are we doing? Whoops. What am I doing? I think I'm trying to get my understanding as high as possible. Yeah, I need to get my understanding to faintly. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to make uh... Oh no, wait. I have to go check for Adachi. I'll check for Adachi, and if Adachi isn't there, we'll reload and we'll do uh, paper cranes. Yo, my dude. He is not there. Alright. In that case. Alright. Upstairs make paper cranes. And make our understanding even better. I don't care about the TV thing. I know they sell good stuff, but I think I'm fine. Decide to make cranes. Carefully, precisely fold them for a person I've never met. My understanding is up. Understanding goes up again. It's giving me eye strain. I'll let my eyes relax. Your hands went ahead and made cranes while you daydreamed. You woke up to a mountain of origami cranes. Cool. The bundle of cranes has been completed. As a reward from the Volunteer Association, you receive a maca leaf. Nice. Or matcha, I guess. Yes, I just matcha. I can eat that. <laughs> I'm not sure what it does in game, but in real life, I can eat that. <laughs> Morning, Yukun! Man, that was Any exhausting. Oh. You could eat anything. I mean, with, an with enough gumption, you can eat everything. Sometimes only once, though. <laughs> Man, that was exhausting yesterday. It was my first time being up on stage like that. Yeah, we had an impromptu concert. I almost forgot about that. Risei had to do stuff like that all the time when she was working, right? I'd never be able to live like that. And this week, we've got midterms. Huh. Oh, hey, we should have a study session with everyone else after school. We're all in the same boat, right? Let's help each other out. I like that my responses are both kind of dismissive. Like, I've got, I don't need any help, or help each other. <laughs> Why would I do such a thing? Help each other? That's right, help each other. In this economy? <laughs> yeah, in this economy for no pay? What? Okay, so what if I'm more on the being helped side than the helping others side? Come on, help those of us who are academically challenged. I'll invite everyone, please. That's fine with me. Mm -mm. Probably a good opportunity to get, uh... Oh, it's this lady again. Now, please take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. You, would you stand up, please? I think it's resealable jars. Actually, I think I know this. What did Napoleon have invented? Yeah, it was glass jars. Glass jars. You gave the answer you think is correct. 
Oh, you knew well. That's right. He made people invent glass jars. Napoleon held a contest. I love that this is like a fact, like a historical thing that happened. Napoleon held a contest to find out who could make something to, to store food. <clears throat> Napoleon held a contest with lots of reward money to whoever could come up with a way to preserve food on long campaigns. Nicholas Apert sub uh, submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for the food preservation industry. It's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual invention of metal cans. The first canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternative to heavier jars. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. So once they, uh, once they put the food in the can, they but, couldn't get it out. It was there forever. <laughs> I think, hold on, Ferb is here. Hi, Ferb! She says, ah, yes, the cultural appropriator class. Yeah! She's a bit off. It's too bad because other than the hat and the crook, I like her outfit. Like it's actually what culture quite is she appropriating? Egypt. Oh. oh. Yeah, she's the she's the I'm I'm in touch with Egypt because it's so ancient and amazing. I have the same spirit as their wonderful culture, and I'm like, lady, no. I don't. <laughs> That's bad. You oh. know? No, oh, sorry, first says I am they them. I'm sorry, I misgendered you, didn't I? You know. Mm hmm? Sorry about I, that. Um... You um. Hmm. I'm looking at her outfit. I, I think the I, like... I think the thing that offends me the most mm -hmm. is that um is that it it doesn't match the rest of her. Yeah. <laughs> also, Ferb says hello to you, Mikey. Hello. E. Yeah. I think if she just ditched the the crook and the and the hat. Which probably has a specific name, but I'm blanking on it right now. If she ditched those two things, I think her outfit would actually be really cute. It's like a nice off-color, slightly yellow but kind of tanned blazer over that over a form-fitting black dress with that little either necklace or clasp she's got around her neck. That's a really cute outfit. If only she would stop being cringe in our year of the Lord whenever this came out. <laughs> Oh, here's the answer to your question, actually, when you're like, oh. She's wearing a pharaoh's headpiece. She is not Egyptian royalty. How dare she, lol. <laughs> it's what it first says. Yeah. Well, maybe the Egyptian royalty should stop being such bitches and letting people take their hats. Maybe they should stop being dead. <laughs> stop being dead and don't let people take your hat. Yeah, you're huh? they're allegedly gods. Yeah. Fucking do something. What kind of god pusses out and dies? Jeez. <laughs> Cowards. I wouldn't be like that if I were a god. I wouldn't die. <laughs> but here's the answer to your question. Before the invention of the can opener, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. So, midterms start at the end of this week. Don't forget to review. I've given a correct answer. I am somehow smarter. So yeah... That answers your question. They couldn't get it out. They had to stab it repeatedly with a knife, which is what I figured they did. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you had to, like, jam a knife in there and try no. to saw it open. Uh, but yeah, they would no. cut them with bayonets or smash it with a rock to get everything mm -mm. out. No, they, they, they put them in cans, and then they couldn't open them for 45 years. Well, thankfully the preservation technique <laughs> kept it fresh that long. I gotta tell you, speaking of cans, because you don't know what happens when you leave a can in one place for a bajillion years. I do. Um, okay, you do. But people <laughs> at home maybe don't. Before my grandmother passed away, I was helping her clean her basement. And one of the things that they had was a shelf of, like, preserved foods, like cans of things. And one of them uh, was just a pallet of soup. So it was in a little cardboard thing, and she's like, oh, can you take that? Just take the, the box and, and take it away. Oh, uh, my my frames per second dropped to red, but it's back up again. Okay. um, And I was like, yeah, sure, I can do that. And so I went over to pick it up, expecting it to be heavy, because it's a whole pallet of cans. Uh, and they weren't small, either. 
So I go to pick it up, and it weighs nothing. It actually startled me, and I, like, fell over, almost, onto the horribly dirty floor. And she's like, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I, what? The bottoms of all the cans had, I guess, decayed away, and so had everything else in the can, but somehow it had all maintained its shape or whatever. So I have, so we have cans, all of them with no bottoms, nothing in it, and just sort of a vague stain on the cardboard indicating that there had once been soup in it. And it was the strangest thing I'd seen because I would have thought that the cardboard would have rotted away, but it didn't for some reason. It was just gross. So yeah, that's what happens when you leave some cans in place for like... God, how long would they have been down there? Probably at least 20 years. So if you leave cans in a basement for 20 years, they just open themselves up and disintegrate, I guess. Oh, hi, Nanako-chan. Hi, Teddy. Yay, study time. Hey, greetings to you. Nanako's gonna study with us, Mikey. Happy day. Greetings to you. <laughs> have you been learning not age-appropriate things from Teddy? Don't take anything he says to heart, because he does not give good instructions on how to appear in public places with people. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Hey, it's the good boy. Wow, everyone's here. Hello. So many people. I know, we have such a big friend group. Why did everyone come here? To learn things. <laughs> Exam study group. Little punk not going to school. Teddy should go to school, although I, I don't think we could probably get him in now that I think of it. He doesn't have <laughs> he doesn't have a birth certificate. He doesn't have any records. He doesn't have whatever the Japanese equivalent of social security number is. I don't think we could get him into school now that I've said it out loud. Times like these I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. He's an illegal person, says Ferb. Well, according to medical, the medical exam he went under, or went under, that, even that is debatable. Teddy might just be a collective figment of our imagination. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, Lord. Oh, jumping straight into math? I can probably do the math, but don't ask me what it's called. Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Oh, no. Um, base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Yes, education date with Naoto. Do it. Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, Please teach um, me math, senpai. I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. <laughs> uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Yosuke. Don't call me useless. He's gonna vault over the table and kick your ass. Yes, Kanji's gonna bond with his future boyfriend. I love it. <laughs> Yosuke, you'll be better when you're Spider-Man. He and uh, he and and Spidey in the PS uh, PS4 Spidey game share the same VA. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto cool riled up. Yeah, mean ones. Stop it. You're pretty cute when you're angry. Yosuke. What, what are you talking about? Stop hitting on him! For God's sake! That's it! I quit! This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams! It's time for my animal crackers. <laughs> I'm going to take my snack. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin! Hands off the penguin! It's mine! Okay. Uh, forget it. I can't think. <laughs> Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. That's a weird non sequitur, but let's go with that. My life on this side is really fun. 
But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I'd love to help you find out who you really are, Teddy. And I'd also really love if we could teach you how to interact with people that isn't in a way that's borderline illegal. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library, but I still can't find anything about me. It's kind of adorable that he's like, oh, the library has books on all subjects. Surely it knows who I am. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Oh, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I thought she I was going to say is that this is the first time you've had an idea. <laughs> I'm getting it. You know, one of those uh, headaches with pictures. An idea? Yeah. <laughs> I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. So Teddy is a figment of our collective imaginations. Got it. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. I'm gonna find out that Teddy's God or something, and then I'm going to be really depressed. He might be a physical idea, yeah. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. Mm. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. wonder if there's more people like Teddy. Or if Teddy himself is a consequence of the, of the collective subconscious that seems to take place on the other side in all of the Persona games. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true <clears throat> that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. You know? It's entirely possible that maybe Teddy didn't exist until people started getting tossed into the TV. He might be the equivalent of the other side's immune system. Because people from the real world shouldn't be on that side. Because when they are, their own subconscious starts dictating how the world appears. And starts generating its own shadows until they're eaten by their own. So Teddy could... Yeah, Teddy is a white blood cell. <laughs> this is firm. Teddy could be a white blood cell. Could be the manager. The TV Ooh, host. That's right! Nanako chan's completely clueless about all this. Are we just gonna out of nowhere tell Nanako that we've been going in the television? I'm sorry, Nanako chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. Oh, bless this child. She's just rolling with it. I love Nanako. <laughs> She's like, well, I don't fucking get it, but you know what? I'm gonna help in any way I can. What a precious little bean. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? Let's go with that, yes. A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? Teddy is the host. <laughs> I think his persona has a cape. Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Actually, the fact that he has a persona means he has a sense of self, so it's entirely possible that because he met us, Teddy has gone from a construct of the other world to an actual, realized person. Teddy's a god! 
I'm calling it right now. Teddy's a god. <laughs> Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Why? Have you... Had, had, is that a trauma of some sort I don't know about? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There are all these other kings, too. And we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Oh. Oh, no. Teddy, no. No, 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 no. That was barely appropriate for us as children. It is not appropriate for for poor little Nanako. Do not do that. Why, you not in front of Nanako-chan? Everybody left their seats to go buy drinks with Nanako. Am I really a king? Don't know. Uh... I don't know, maybe. <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day! That is not what a king does. Teddy is smirking. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. Yeah, you're not the first non-human manifestation thing that I've been helping with missing memories. And after all, Marie is having the same problem. You sense Teddy's strong trust. Teddy is now level 7. Yes, his determination has been enhanced. He can now endure a mortal blow. <gasps> Teddy will hang on because we are just such good friends. Yes. Big bro, Teddy, is melon soda okay? It is definitely okay. I love melon soda. I had fun at Juness. Good, I'm glad you did. Let's save. Rotating the saves. All right, I'll be right back, Nanako. If if Crazy Pants is not available, let us go to the shopping district. He may be available because Dojima's not home. Oh, nope. He is not. I wish you could go back home if you couldn't go out. It's a little bit ridiculous. There we go. Oh, you got new shoes today, Ferb? I'm guessing you ordered them. Hi, Nanako. You want to hang out? Um... Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. The relationship is not ready to advance yet. Will you spend the evening with her? Yes. Yeah! Let's, let's do. She looks real happy. What a good little girl. Oh, Nanako! She reminds me of the kittens. Which are getting bigger, by the way. Even our little, even our little runt, who's missing a tail, is getting bigger. There, she's not as big as the other two, though. We've also uh, figured out the sexes of the kittens. The black one with a tail that looks just like its mother is a boy. And uh, our little tailless uh, runt and uh, the tiger-striped kitty are both girls. And they're so cute. Their eyes are opening. They keep them closed a lot of the time, but they've been opening them up and looking around. I can't wait to see what color they actually are because they're blue when they're little. They're such tiny potatoes and they squeak. Yo! I know. I wish you could come over and pet the kittens for... They're such tiny little floofers. They're so soft. And they have teeny little claws and teeny little teeth. Tiny, tiny little teeth. But they've doubled in size in just a week. And they should double in size more or less again. <clears throat> oh, you can. Morning. You know, lately, whenever we're uh, over there, I've been wondering, does it feel like you've seen those shadows before? I mean, we've fought robots and stuff that look like they're right out of some anime, right? Doesn't that bother you? I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, 
Remember how our other selves had those logos like a TV show? Maybe it was like that for the same reason as to why the shadows look like something from the TV. Teddy said before that the other world is related to our minds somehow. People who watch the Midnight Channel believe it's a TV show, and we treat that world as something inside the TV. So maybe that's why. Or is it simply because all of us have had our brains soaked in television since we were kids? Mm, I mean, I guess I can't really deny that. I can't help watching Hong Kong action movies whenever they're on TV. Yeah. It could be related to our kind of entertainment, I mean... Oh, the woman that looks like a fish! Oh my goodness. I'll finish my thought before reading what she said. <laughs> and that was, I wonder if, depending on the time period that you would go into the other world, if it would reflect the sort of media that people uh, like to enjoy. Because those things shape us uh, just as much as our actual real world experiences do. Like a lot of the time, the reason people have such strong reactions to stories you know, like written ones, ones in games, or ones that are in movies and stuff. The reason you have such a strong reaction is that your brain treats it, it you know, it, it releases the same kind of chemicals that it would if you were experiencing it yourself, though just not as strongly, which is why people, you know, like if a character they really like dies in something, they feel, they feel heartbroken at the loss, like it's a real loss. So I wonder if, like, you know, in before television... If you had gone to the other world, it would have been like books. And if you were to go in like, I mean, I don't know if uh, like Persona 5 takes place closer to to now. So maybe the uh, other world there is more like the internet. So, yeah, Ferb says the thing I like about history is that humans have been the same for thousands of years. Exactly. We have not changed much on a fundamental level. We have always, always loved stories. We've always reacted strongly to them. We've always wanted to do art when we were, you know, bored. We teach kids uh, things. We play games. We complain about shit being not fair when it's not fair. Like, uh, like that guy writing the one of the first complaint letters back in Mesopotamia to the person in charge of the water, uh, the water system, and was like, "The sesame is dying." It's so good. I, I believe there's a theory that um, evolution for humans is now primarily focused on mimetic evolution, mm -hmm. where it's like cultural signifiers are the things that change the most. Yeah. And that while there are some, some through lines, obviously some traits that everybody shares, um, it's more so having to do with how those traits are expressed. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I, yeah, I would I would say that humans are haven't changed on a fundamental level, but I would say that humans ha like cultural evolution has definitely yeah. occurred. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing now. It's like uh, yeah. it's like physically we've not changed a whole lot. I mean, we are on the whole taller and stronger than we were in the past, but that's got less to do precisely with genetic evolution and more so just having, you know, food and medicine. Yeah, advancements in food security. Yeah. Uh, although, funnily enough, uh, a, a joke that I've made with you more than, than once before is that if you look at the media we create and, and the way that we act about things, it really seems like what humans want is to get out of their bodies as quickly as possible. That seems to be where we're going, is we're like, I don't need this anymore. I want to go and do this thing. It's escape from the body. I think that it is, I think it is always escape to like another moment. I think people mm. want I, I think most people want things to be better than they are. Mm -hmm. And so most media is about achieving that in one way or another. True. And some and and most of the time when you know when people talk about having complicated characters, they want characters that strive to, or, or, or strived uh, to achieve that, but it backfired or something went wrong. Yeah. That's typically what happens when people want characters with complexity. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, and Ferb points out that there's so much, so much uh, stuff that we still do now uh, that we used to do in the past. Like today, they went, uh, they were out thrifting, and found a uh, carved uh, owl statue. And rock carving is one of the oldest things we've used to do. Uh, Ferb also says that capitalism is ruining human joy, and I agree. I agree, and I also think that there will be a breaking point for that. I think I so, think, too. I think there is only so much the average person is willing to take before... Yeah, before the whole system collapses it in on itself. I mean, we're already seeing the cracks. Yes, we I are. think. Yeah, uh, we are. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, back to the game. I love our little existential discussion, but <laughs> we've been leaving it on the blinking fish lady. God, she looks like a carp. Her eyes scare me. Uh, she says, oh, It's so tiring coming up with stuff for the exams. All I want to do is go home and see how my stocks are doing. By the way, Halloween's at the end of this month. Be sure you've forgotten... I'm sure you've forgotten what with tests and festivals and all. Speaking of Halloween, the first jack-o'-lanterns weren't made out of pumpkins. Uh, Satanaka-san, I'll pick you since you don't seem to care about veggies. Uh, no, I'll choose Narukami-kun. Everyone's picking on me. Oh, Ferb shouts, I know this one. It was turnips. You gave the answer you think is right. Yes, that is correct. The first ones were made out of turnips or beets. Hell yeah! Sit down and carve that tiny fucking turnip. <laughs> Actually, carving a, t a turnip into a lantern would be really difficult because they're rock hard, aren't they? Aren't they, Mikey? I don't cook with them very often, but I'm pretty sure that they're like rock solid. <laughs> I don't think he heard me. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're rock hard. Bernadette Banner carved a turnip for Halloween once, says Ferb. Oh, I see. I imagine it's quite difficult. When that tradition was carried into the U.S., they started using pumpkins because they were plentiful and easier to carve. Yes, because they're hollow. While we're on the subject, uh, subject, I'm hoping that my stocks will turn up. <laughs> no? Fine. Puns aren't my style anyway. You gave the right answer. Classes are over. Since you have no leads, you must wait until the criminal takes action. Cool. Uh, let's go into town. I hate that it's raining because it means there's like fuck all I can do. Adachi! He wants to hang out. Excellent. Oh. Oh, it's you. <laughs> you saved me. Want to talk? It'll look more like I'm in Vista. I mean, um, mm, uh, forget that. Seems he's slacking off. It's not ready to advance yet, but will you spend the afternoon? Yes, I will. It's raining. <laughs> Ferb, Ferb goes, oh my god, Animal Crossing turnip stock flashbacks. I've not, you know what? I'm sure I would love the game, but I've not actually played any Animal Crossing games before. I never had the system to play them. <laughs> yes, I will spend time with the Dache. <laughs> He's smiling mischievously. And then we stood by the produce and talked. He went shopping with the Dache and talked about various things. I'm hoping that our shopping was us being like, take this home and eat actual food, please. Oh, you're home. Yeah. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. I may do that. Oh, actually, I may hang out with Nanako. All right. I may hang with Nanako if Adachi isn't in town. Let's check really quick. <gasps> you! Oh. What are you doing out so late? I'm doing overtime. Sometimes it sucks being a grown up. If it was daytime, they wouldn't know if I slacked off a little. Oops. He seems busy. You should talk to him again when he looks like he has more time. Well, pivot. Back to the house. 
I wish I could just go back, but it takes that as like, oh, you were out and now you're back in and time has passed. Hi, Nanako! Um, it's gonna be closer soon. Will you have an evening? Yes, I will. Yeah. Yay! Let's max justice. Oh, it's the form. I'm home. Yay! Welcome home! Dad! Sorry. Uh, later, Nanako. Uh, but, uh, this, this paper... Scheduling of parent-teacher interviews? Man. Oh, survey, huh? Oh. Fine. It's fine. It's fine, okay? You don't have to write anything. You don't have to come. It's just another case to you, right? It's more work, isn't it? Bad people and everyone else are more important to you than me, huh? You're not real. You're not my real dad. Uh, hey. Nanaka, wait. Oh, she's out. <sighs> she ran out in the middle of the night. We need to go look for her. She can't be out. Let's go look for her. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Now's not the time to stand around asking questions. He nods strongly. I'll go check Juness. You, you look around the shopping district. I'm counting on you. Gotcha. You need to find Nanako. Central shopping district. You don't see Nanako in the emptily, qui emptily quiet shopping district. Hey! <gasps> it's the gang! I ran to Judge Masan at Jeunesse. He told me what happened. Sheesh. You could have just asked. We got a call from Yusuke-kun. I'm sure if we all look, we'll find her. Hey, do you know what kind of places she might have gone? A place where Nanako would go. You recall that Nanako said her family used to go to, Same, uh, to Samegawa when her mother was still alive. You told your friends about Samegawa. Hmm. Samegawa? Alright, you, you head straight there. That's our best bet. The rest of us will split up and look around. If anyone finds anything, give the others a ring, okay? She's in the park. You, did you find Nanako? Is she? Oh! She's in the Nanako. little pagoda! Poor Nanako. Could you talk to her? I'm not her real father, huh? Please. You, you should go pick her up. She'll listen to you. That's not true. Sounds like I'm saying she won't listen to me. Uh. Why? You're the family she trusts most right now. As long as Nanako's okay, I'm fine. Please. I think it would mean an awful lot to her if you came with me, but okay. <sighs> Big bro. Your dad's worried. Liar. Nanako looks like she's about to cry. You told Nanako that her father was the one who found her. He was looking for me. Did Dad say anything about the river? Did he forget about Mom? He never talks about her. I want to see Mom. 
Nanako is struggling not to cry. Oh, to hug this poor little bean. Through Nanako's fierce resolve, you feel that your relationship with her has grown deeper. Rank 7 of Nanako. Dad must have forgotten, Mom. There aren't any pictures of her at home. He probably threw them all away. Is he going to throw me away, too? He's not forgotten. I'm going home. Let's go home together. You called your friends and told them that Nanako was safe. You return home with Nanako. Oh. Poor Nanako. We have a family intervention. I overhear students talking. Oh, midterms start tomorrow, but I feel so lazy. I can't believe you're so hardcore about studying for the exam, senpai. Are you sure you're gonna need to know all this stuff in the future? Well, you probably won't. And by the way, would you not say the word lazy around me, especially this early in the morning? Ah, uh, whatever. After exams, we have the cultural festival. There are more first-year students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. Ooh. Cultural fest. <laughs> Firm is crying and goes, no, oh, midterms. Oh, it's the crime waiting to happen. <clears throat> so there's a teacher here who tried to put a problem on the, on the test involving a student's bust waist hip measurements. Are you sure it wasn't you? I won't say who, but isn't that just wrong? I mean, who cares about a high school girl's measurements? Wow, you've missed the point entirely. It would have been much more interesting if they were mine, huh? But man, middle-aged dudes are so perverted. I can feel them looking at me in the faculty lounge. <laughs> By the way, speaking of middle-aged men, there's a cute little fish called the Oji-san. Isn't that a cute name? Too bad there's no fish called the Obasan. I guess that's because no matter how old we get, women are still women. Oh, uh, Yukon, were you listening to what I just said? What kind of fish was I just talking about? You were talking about the Ojisan, which is the old man. And Obasan is, uh, his grandma or old lady. <laughs> I'm glad you were listening to me. It's actually named the goat fish, but it's commonly called the Oji-san. It's called that because it has whiskers and looks just like a middle-aged man. I want you to remember that, so I'll be putting it on the test, which starts tomorrow. I've given the correct answer. I am a smarty pants! Yeah, right? <laughs> For what, why is she talking about this in a high school class? So you have no leads, you must wait for the criminal. You must wait until the criminal takes action. All our butts are here. Let's do a quick save. Let's go have a look at what's going on in town. Atachi! He is not here. Alright, let's see. Let's go to the school. Let's have a quick look. Ah, she's here. She is not. Um, where is... Here we go. Kanji's doing pretty good. Yukiko is a bit higher ranked than that. Saki's brother, still old, the old lady, is Sunday's only young mother. Uh, she's tomorrow. Oh! She's got a quest. Ah! You! I don't have a thing with you yet. We're gonna talk to him. Well, this is it. It's time to put up or shut up. I made a deal with my dad. If I can pass all my classes with an 80% or better, I can make art again. All I've got to do is cram like there's no tomorrow, even though I never get better than the class average. Good luck. Thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, I just remembered. Hey, would you mind helping me out with something? Sure. 
Well, the thing is, I don't have enough materials for this piece of art I'm trying to make. Uh, do you know where I can find high-speed gear, senpai? I might now. Really? Does that mean you'll get it for me? I'll make sure you don't regret it. Please, I'm counting on you. I need to go into the dungeons and get everything. I need to do that when I'm not streaming, because that's going to take, like, ages. <laughs> All right. Uh, da 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 da. Uh, it looks like a mechanical wheel. You might find it in an industrial looking place. Yeah, so this dungeon. Oh, Yusan. Um, thank you for saving me. Uh, I apologize, but I have something I want to think about. He seems absorbed in thought about something. I don't have the courage. Damn, okay. Well, then let. Um, what does my courage have to be? It has to be max courage. All right. I gotta do something to increase my courage then. Um, I guess that's going to the hospital or reading the courage books. Go into town and see about talking with. Saki's little brother. Hi! Smooch. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to give this man the thing. That's the MF06S Brahmin I gave you. You actually built it. Wow, it's good. Well made. The man is tearing up. Making plastic models takes a lot of time, huh? The time you spend makes the love for your creation deeper. Ah, <sighs> I must be getting old. I was recalling the days I spent toiling away at plastic models. It was fun, but it's all in the past now. Thank you. By giving me a final glimpse of this joy, you made me realize that this phase of my life is past. Starting tomorrow night, I'm going to start sorting through the remaining models at my store. Oh, yes, I'll need to go give my thanks at the shrine, too. I feel as if I have a new reason to live now. The man smiles sadly. You accomplish the request. You should report back to the fox. Oh, yeah, you can have this too. I have fond memories of this model. Once you finish that one, will you come show it to me? I'll be at the shop at night. If you don't mind putting them together, I'll even give you another one. Aha! All right, well, that answers that. We're going to go talk to the fox. Fox, I have completed a mission. Here comes Fox. The Fox brought you the Emma with the wish that you granted. He's probably worried about the outcome. You told the Fox that you granted the wish. He woof with joy. He looks at the box and seems pleased. If rumors spread, more people will come to make offerings. Yes. He woof again. I sense the gratitude. I rank up the fox. Recovery shall be cheaper now. Nice. Power to create personas of the hermit arcana has grown. As your relationship with has grown stronger, it will give you a discount. I've passed time with the fox. Excellent. It is getting late. You decide to go home. All right. We need to get our courage higher so that we can talk to Naoto. Welcome back. Hello, Dejima. You can work as a janitor of the hospital day. Oh, perfect. We're either going to spend time with Adachi or we're going to the, uh, thing. And he is not here. What job will we go to, janitor? That's fine. I don't mind not having the social link go up just yet. I am looking for the courage. You busily clean the recently vacated hospital room. Boy, it's windy. Exclamation point. You feel someone watching you. You decide to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. Yeah, I ain't got enough shit in my life. Don't need ghosts, too. Courage goes up. Courage goes up again. We can now hang out with Nato. We are heroic.
Building a relationship will be deeper soon. Yes. I can't speak. Got 5,000 yen. Excellent. It is now Friday. Your second term midterms begin today and continue until next Thursday. You should hurry to school. I'm not going to get a chance to hang out, am I? I'm going to be too tired. Hmm. Oh. oh, morning. Hey, how much studying did you get done after we met up? Actually, have you studied at all? What about you? <laughs> Me? How much did you think I would study? Oh, if I'm gonna die, at least I'll go down fighting. Just like Ry Ryoma Sakamoto. Wait, was that Shinsengumi? <laughs> I believe in you. Midterms, day one. What part of the body contains the Adam's apple? That is the throat. I feel I've chosen the correct answer. Excellent. Where would you find a Japan on a map made in a foreign country? You would find it on the right edge. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Yep. Here we go again. Midterms, day two. How short was history's shortest war? It was 40 minutes. You feel you've chosen the right answer. Venison is the meat of what animal? All of the above. I've chosen correctly. Yes, I remember! I may not be able to remember people's names so good, but by God, I can remember weird quiz questions from games. I have the day off from school today. Without any clues, all you can do for now is wait for the culprit to make a move. You'll be taking exams at school until next Thursday. What should do today? Well, we're gonna go find Naoto's what we're gonna do. Oh. Hey, it's me. Hello. Do you wanna make a study group today? We've got four more days of exams. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I've made plans. Let's go do it. I'll get social link increases with everybody, so that'll be fine. <laughs> it's getting to be a custom for us to meet up like this. Put that aside. Can I borrow your notes? <laughs> Borrowing notes is getting to be a custom, too. All right, let's get started. But first, I want a melon soda. Is that your way of saying you'll lend me your notes if I buy you a melon soda? That could be. <laughs> Yosuke-san and Chie-san seem to get along well. Why don't you two date? I was actually kind of thinking the same thing. Never. Hey, you... That was quick. <laughs> you too, Nanta-kun. You could go out with Kanji. You should go out with Kanji! Huh? Please stop it. <laughs> oh, how cute. Hey, senpai, wouldn't Kanji and Nanta-kun make a good couple? Yes! Senpai! Come on now, you senpai. That's enough, guys. Let's get back to studying. This promises to be an entertaining day. You feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to be closer soon. Chie will become closer soon. Your relationship with Yukiko will be closer soon. You feel your relationship with Risei is going to be closer soon. It didn't work with Naoto because they haven't talked to him yet! Ah! I've spent a fun afternoon. Well, good for me. Not to make it to Thursday. Welcome back. Thank you, Dojima. I will spend some time chatting with you if Adachi is not available. He is not. I almost clicked exit game. <laughs> oh, the plants are ready. Let us harvest the vegetables. They look good. 
great vegetables. I caught a feed melon. All right, what will we plant now? Tomatoes. I need to get more seedlings. Well, I'm excited to see them come in. All right. Now that that's settled. Hey. Hey, what's wrong? You bored? It's going to become closer soon. Will you spend time with him? Yes. Ah. Yeah, you're that bored? Well, have a seat. He sighs, but he looks happy. You talked with Dojima about various things. Oh, Nana goes back. Mm. I'm going to sleep. Ah. Hmm? Oh, it's this late already. <laughs> Good night. Yeah? What? You said you would read me a book before bed. You best. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's right. I got it. I got it. Just a few pages. Yay! Yeah, good. Oh. Uh, oh, hold on. Dojima here. Ichihara-san. Yes? Uh, yes. Uh, well, then that means... Well, if it's okay with you, I can be there in just a few. Ugh. I understand. Goodbye. Dad, are you leaving? It's uh, my job. But you said you'd read me a book! I can do that anytime. Oh! When is any time or this is more important, huh? Oof. Ooh, they're both scathing. Mikey, what do you think I should say to him? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't know the story. <laughs> no, it's okay. The context is that work has called him, mm -hmm. and, but he promised to read Nanako a book, and he's not intentionally neglecting her for work, but he's neglecting her for work. And when she said, but you promised you would read me a book, uh, he said, well, I can do that anytime, and I can either say, well, when's anytime, or this is more important, huh? And your pop, your pop, what is your pop's job? He is a cop. Hmm. <laughs> Ferb a shouted, a when's a anytime. A detective, I, I assume? Yes, he is a detective. He's a police detective. But it's gotten to the point where Nanako thinks that he's going to just throw her away and mm -hmm. stop being her dad because he's always focused on work to the point that he doesn't even talk about her mother anymore. Mm -hmm. So she's feeling really abandoned by him. Ferb, Ferb is for saying when's any time. I agree because... Ooh, actually, this is more... Hmm. They're, they both feel like call-outs, although this is more important, huh? Could be us, uh, like, agreeing with him. So. This is more important seems more direct to me. Mm. Because because when's any time is mm -hmm. obfuscated because he, he will just be like, it's not now. <laughs> That's but, true. But this is more important, huh? To me, at least. Uh, gets more at the root of the problem, which is that his priorities are out of whack. Okay. Yeah. If it comes, if it turns out that that we're wrong and this is like us agreeing with him, then we can always reload and pick the other one. Because sometimes I mean, sh shit's tone it, is weird, but I think that you're right. This is this is what I th this is why I wish that uh, more RPGs would adopt the uh, later Dragon Age tonal system where they yeah. have icons that indicate what the tone of what you're saying is. Yeah, like if both of them had a kind of angry face next to them, I'd know it was like a direct thing. Alright, let's go with this one. This is more important, huh? Oh. <sighs> of course not. Then 
<laughs> he sighed quietly. Are you two fighting? You can go, Dad. No, that's not it. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book do you want? Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Boom! Problem solved! With stuff like that, honestly, it's healthier to focus on the root of the problem because if you if you discuss other things, it, this happens a lot with like with romantic relationships, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's like mm -hmm. you you um a person will a person will have a grievance but they have so many other little grievances and the, and the conversation normally when when those little grievances are brought up winds up getting focused on those and then the, par yeah. the partner being accused of something it you know gets defensive and it's like well why didn't you say something about that at the time and you know yeah. instead of just being direct with the with whatever the issue is in the moment yeah. Uh, it winds up it winds up blowing the whole thing up. I think. Yeah, it's like in, oh, instead of talking about the fact that you don't help around the house and you and the person feels neglected, now it's an argument about why is this spoon in this drawer. Yeah, and in a situation like this, when's any time to me sounds softer, which in the situation like this, where where it's getting to the point where she feels like she's being neglected. Mm-hmm. Which she is. Which she she is, is being neglected. Yeah. Uh, it, being very upfront and direct with with him and giving him an ultimatum, forcing him to make that choice, and in front of her, I might add, to me would get better results. Yeah, that's but, true. Also, yeah, also that's true. I know that that in the on the whole, Japan like Japanese deals more with like being subtle. And, and a comment that's super direct is often seen as rude, but I do think that cutting right to the meat of the problem is probably in a situation a like this. In a situation in a situation like this, maybe being rude is yeah would would, would be appropriate because mm -hmm. I mean I mean what's worse, being a little rude or him neglecting his daughter? Exactly. Yeah. No, you've made a good point. Uh, before we continue, though, give me just a second. I realized my door is open, and I should close it before somebody comes in and tries to climb on something and cause a mess. Oopsie poopsie. That's the last thing we need. Because not only do we will Cece beg me for food, uh, Mama Cat may come upstairs and go, I have been given the incorrect amount of uh, dry food to wet food ratio. I demand that you give me food now also. <laughs> so... Here I am, I am back. We won't have Whiskey coming in and going like, Hey, why don't you come down and feed me? And I'll be like, oh, not right now. All right. It's okay. Yeah, I promised. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Good. Your co-workers can wait ten minutes. Yeah, hey. Good. Nanako went to her room with Dojima. Man, she made me read the whole thing. She starved for attention, bud. Yeah! <laughs> she, she needs you <laughs> she in her life. You. You're not the only one who's grieving here, and as a parent, it is your yeah. responsibility to help your children through that. Yeah, and I completely understand work, you know, you know, you're a cop, your work is serious, but at the same time, your co-workers should and need to understand that well, you've got a child what, at home. I, I, hold on, I want to ask something. Yes. What, where, what is, where's the mom in all this? She's dead? Yes, she has died. She died in an accident and it's weighing really hard How on- How recent? Um, I assume pretty damn recent, given that given your little sister's age is is not that. Yeah. Uh, she's well, not that old. she's technically our cousin, but yes. Uh, oh. Yeah, Dojin was our uncle. Our parents sent us here for a time because they're. Well, I assume I assume it's not that long ago because she is attached to her as a mother, right? Yeah, she doesn't. Let's see. When she talks about her. Like saying she saying that he that doesn't he seem doesn't seem to really remember her. 
Yeah, so so it's like she was alive at least, and she was attached yeah. to her at the very least. So yeah. to me, it, that seems like it's maybe like four or five years. Yeah, it, it, Nanako was when she passed. Nanako he's, is old enough to remember when they used to do things together. Yeah, he's he's retreated into his work. Yeah, he, he, has. he has buried himself with his work to ignore the pain. Yeah. It's also a problem for him because uh, he, like, mentioned it once when we saw him looking at articles of stuff. Um, but his wife died in a car accident, and the person who hit her, they never found out who it was. Mm. So it's, a, it's an unsolved case that's been on his desk for, like, ever. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so he needs to focus on what truly matters right now. Which, which is, is his family. daughter. Yeah. He needs to tell work. He needs to stop saying yes every time they're like, hey, can you come in? Because you know? he's, well, he's running away from it. Yeah, he's running he's, away he's from it. Ru he's, he's running away from the responsibility because for her, you know, he sh I assume in some in some respects that she reminds him of her, of his, his, his late wife. wife. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, back when his wife was alive, they had a, I suppose you would refer to it as a traditional Japanese family where she was home all the time looking after mm -hmm. Nanako and he was at work all the time. So he now has a lot of parental responsibilities he doesn't know how to do. On top of his, his yeah. regular job. To yeah. the point where Nanako is doing some of them, like, nobody in this house except for us, the main character, knows how to cook. Nanako is yeah. too little to do it, and he has no idea how. So Nanako will either make very simple things, or she will go out to Juness and buy ready-made meals. Which, to be fair, in Japan, are pretty damn healthy. They're not <laughs> like junk meals that we that we are used to yeah, seeing. I would in say the a US. lot of ready-made. I would say most ready-made meals in the U.S. have shifted towards health. But at, at any rate, the the yeah. I I yeah, he needs to focus. Yeah, on his daughter right now because like if he continues down this path she's not going to want anything to do with him and yeah. she's going to be severely damaged as yeah a she's and she's such a sweet little girl she's gonna blame herself for it when she gets older she's gonna she's gonna start acting out just to get his attention she may turn to committing small crimes because <laughs> then dad has to pay attention to her mm -hmm. the the I understand, like, it, you know, it's difficult as a single parent, oh, but yeah. he has to make time. Yeah. All right, let's... Uh, let's talk. Oh, I guess he's not going in at all. Because now he wants to talk to us. The phone call was from Ichihara-san, my former senpai. I'm having him run tests for Chisato's hit-and-run investigation. Ah! Uh Yep, that's his wife's investigation. He was calling to tell me that the test results are in. Judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't already come up with. I know going over there won't change the test results, but... Dojima looks severely disheartened. It was a white sedan, most likely large and American. As expected, no such car is registered in Inaba. No records of one being repaired or scrapped either. Worst case scenario, the car is out of the country by now. It scares me that I couldn't catch the perp. That I'll never have an outlet for this sick feeling. That I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako, every time I notice the way yep. that she looks like her mother, yep, there it is. I feel like... I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality. It scares me. <laughs> I never thought I'd be talking to you about this. Dojima confided in you. You feel like you understand him more. Fuck yeah, face! Woo! Yeah, the, the, the story arcs for characters in here are definitely, like, super good. I can understand completely why a lot of people think that Persona 4, character-wise, is, like, the best one. I've even heard people say that 5 isn't as good as 4 was. Really? Because I've heard a lot of people say they like 5 more. So it's, I guess it seems to be divisive. Yeah, it. I, I'm assuming it probably is. It, it might be a case where the gameplay in 5 is really good, but the... the character stuff isn't as in-depth, perhaps? 
I think that's what that's basically what Shen Pai said. Is she said that she liked uh, four more than five because she felt that the character stories were more interactive. It like went deeper into people's issues and and solved them over a period of time instead of just. Uh, she made it sound like you just kind of meet them and you deal with their problem and then they're your buddy. So, yeah. Ryo Taru Dojima social link has reached level seven. I actually like that he's the Herophant, since I learned what the Herophant is, which is a person who, um, which is a person who, who, um, looks for signs to, to, uh, reveal the, the truth of a prophecy. And that's kind of, actually, if you, if you make it not about mysticism and about, re and about, you know, real world shit, that's what a detective basically does. They look for signs and clues to tell you about, you know, what happened at the scene. I know I can't stay this way forever. While you're still here, I need to face myself. Yeah, because I can look at Nanako, look after Nanako f while he do he deals with his shit. That could also be another reason he never really had the time to deal with his shit, because if he wasn't hiding away in work, he had to take care of Nanako, and like, when is he gonna sit down and just, you know, cry? You know? He sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. Beep, 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 pyramid terms, day three. What is the Japanese name for panda? It is called a black and white bear. Which would be a shi uh, shiro kurokuma. Black and white bear. I've chosen the right answer. Hell yes! Those Duolingo courses are really helping. Uh, which bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English phrase to stick one's head in the sand? An ostrich. I feel it chosen the correct answer. Yeah. On to Tuesday. Midterms day four. What was the name of the Wasan textbook that came out in the Edo period? Oh goodness. Uh, Math Girl. Remember that. You feel you've chosen the right answer. Excellent. What did Napoleon have invented? Glass jars. You feel you've chosen the right answer. Yes. We're almost done with the madness! Midterm day five. Oh, the teacher with the puppet. That's very reminiscent of that South Park teacher, and I wonder if, if one was inspired by the other. Which season is the ad is the adjective brisk a key go for? Fall. Ah, we're right. What is dragon's blood? It's plant resin. Yes. Time for the final day of midterms. And then we're done with this, and we can try to hang out with Naoto. It is the last day of exams. You answered every question with ease. You know, the answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Yes! Mikey, we did it. We are a smart cookie. Uh, it's finally over. Hey, about question eight. Chi and Yukiko are completely absorbed in reviewing the exam. I pulled an all-nighter last night. So I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm gonna head home. See you later. Yeah, Yosuke. Yosuke left. At last, the long midterms are finally over. Today was the final day of midterms. Since you have no leads, you must wait until the criminal takes action. The long week of testing has finally ended. What will you do today? I'm gonna go talk to Naoto. I want to know what card he has. And I also want to do his story. Naoto! <gasps> He's not here. No! No! <laughs> 
curses. Where is he? Now toast class. Okay, and I can't go in. Fine. Oopy. What's the library down there? It's where he was before. Hello, fish teacher. Ah, uh, Nurukami-kun. Can I have a moment with you? There's something I'd like to ask. Sure. Lately, nothing seems to be going right, and I've been trying to think of the cause. Feng Shui, that's gotta be it, right? I think maybe I need better Feng Shui. I've been anxious and complaining and all, and that's not how I usually am. So I was asking around, and some of the students said you're good at finding random things for people. I'm looking for a crystal ball. Do you think you could find it for me? If I place it near the front door of my house, I'm sure all my problems will be solved. Sure, I'll look for one. Great, I'll leave it up to you. Cool. <laughs> oh, I think this is the principal. Hi! Oh, Narakami-kun, isn't it? I remember your name since you're a transfer student. Would you mind talking with me for a moment? Sure. Young people often say they dislike the countryside, but if you ask me, I'd say they just don't have any hobbies. If they had hobbies, they wouldn't be bored, even here in the country. I've been here ever since I was very small, but I've never been bored. That's because I have a collection. What sort of collection, you ask? <laughs> Tanks! I collect tank-related items. I just can't get enough of them. Gun barrels, caterpillar tread. <laughs> After becoming principal here, I've been able to devote my time and money to expanding my collection, but... A training shell. That's the one thing I've been unable to require. If you were to get a hold of it, I wouldn't be willing to give you... I would be willing to give you a reward money can't buy. Sure, I think I can get that. Really? You could find one for me? I can't wait for you to bring it to me. I have accepted the quest. Cool. Who is on the roof today? Chie is on the roof. This girl is also on the roof. If I stopped trying to be a vet, I don't know what I'd do. What did I do with my life up until now? I can't even remember. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go into town and get a new quest from the fox, because that does not take up all of our time. Which is good. Then we can check Junez and see what... Uh, why don't I just travel to the shrine? Uh, and then we can see if Itachi is available to hang out with, and if not, we will hang out with a, a friend. I will accept a request from Nima. Fox! Fox has brought me an Emma with a wish written on it. It's in beautiful feminine handwriting. I want to be able to converse better. I don't want to hurt people with the rude things I say when I'm nervous. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Emma on its behalf. Could it be thinking if wishes are fulfilled, then more money will be put into the box? I will accept this request. Wish us better. That's okay. Cool. Ew. Uh, let's see who is available to hang out today. Chie, perhaps. Ah! Good. Huh? Uh, what? Just don't walk up to me and talk to me all of a sudden. Don't you know that's rude? Oh. Um. It's, sorry for blowing up like that. It's fine. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere or anything. So. The student is mumbling and obviously flustered. Perhaps she is the one who wrote the Emma request the fox showed you. Excellent. She wants to improve her conversational abilities. Uh, what do you want? Stop staring at my face. Her words are harsh. But you dealt with the cold response well due to your understanding. It, what? Normal people would have left by now yelling something at me. You're weird. What are you standing there for? Say something to me! Oh. The awkward girl ran away. Maybe you should talk to her again when you see her. Nice. Alright, let's check our social link with... Chie is at 6. Rise is at 5. So maybe I should try to hang out. Oh, Saki's brother. Wait, Saki's brother is only available on Tuesdays, I think. Young mother. This is Thursday. So I can't work at the schoolyard. That's tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, 
I has only two. Alright, actually. Let's... Ah, she is here. Hi! Oh! You, uh, what do you want? Your relationship is not ready to advance yet. What? Fine, bye then. She seems a little angry. Sorry! I'm pretty sure. It's the bus stop. You can work at the daycare center Monday, Friday, or Saturday when it isn't raining. Okay, so tomorrow and Saturday we can go there. Is brother also not available? Oh, there he is. Saki's brother. Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, hello, Kisan. He seems to have some free time. We'll be closer soon. Yes. Spend the afternoon. Yeah. Yes. Sure. It's okay. He looks happier. Do you feel like getting some Chinese food? I fucking love Chinese food. Absolutely. Oh, Naoki-kun. Aren't you coming back from school? You shouldn't be wasting time here. Don't you think your parents are worried about uh, worried with you wandering about just like your sister did? You're not helping out at the store? I hear your father's having a hard time. Uh, don't oomph me. I know it's tough with what happened to your sister, but in times like these, a family has to unite to help each other out, right? Look, I'm just trying to help you and your family out. That attitude isn't very nice. Naoki looks distressed. Talk back to the lady, flatter the lady, or keep quiet. You know what? I'm gonna tell her to fuck off. It's okay. It's okay, you son. He looks troubled, but looks slightly happier. I'll be going now, Nelky Kun. Keep your chin up and think about your family. Nosy git. Sorry. Sorry, it's a little awkward to be around me, huh? It's not your fault. Yes. Yeah. He looks happy. If you weren't here, I would have been in a predicament. Since my family runs a business here, we have to stay on good terms with the neighbors, so I can't yell at them. Thank you. You empathize with Nelki's distress. You feel that our relationship has grown deeper. Yeah! Good. Like... Holy cow, leave the kid alone. He has been through hell and does not need your input. Especially since your input isn't, oh my goodness, are you good? Can Do you need anybody to talk to? And then if they say, nah, leave them be. It's it's be like, shouldn't you be doing better because of your dead sister? Like, holy shit, leave him be. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go home now. Uh, we'll eat together next time. Okay. I'll see you again. We parted with Nelki and went home. Poor guy. Oh, I forgot to check Juness for Adachi. It's fine. Oh! This is different. Nelki... Uh, Nanako doesn't seem to be home. I'm home! Oh, never mind. There she is. Hey, Nanako! What the... Oh! Welcome back! There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Oh, yeah? Interesting. Who from? The letter is addressed to Mr. Yu Narukami. But the sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. Uh-oh. There's only one sentence printed. Don't rescue anymore. The killer knows it's us! The killer figured out it was us. Is it from a friend? Uh, <laughs> no. He also knows where we live. Yep. Oh, my show is almost done. Oh God. Oh beans. Don't rescue anymore. Could this be a warning from the killer? Or is it just a prank? We should discuss this with the group tomorrow. Yeah, we should. Shit's happening! Ooh, a cutscene! 
He's death noting. I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. That doesn't sound like a dodgy. Place where you can be at peace. Yes, it's much more peaceful than here. I guess it wasn't Tadachi, it's whoever the fuck this is. Well, shit! Unless this is a Death Note situation and it's a fake, fake out and it's somebody else. I mean, I sort of hope it is because it does feel strange that the killer would be someone we'd never met. You showed the letter, you showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue anymore. Is this a warning? Sounds like a threat, yeah. No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? But why would it specifically say not to rescue anybody if that's the case? Did you show this to your uncle? Uh... I don't plan to. Senpai. Dojima-san is trustworthy, but it may be best to keep this to ourselves. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that he would believe us. That's the problem. Like, what am I going to tell him? I'm being threatened by the killer because I keep saving people from the TV. He'd think I was on drugs. He will ask why you received such a letter. And if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. Mm-hmm. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. Uh-huh. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. Yeah. And he knows at the very least it's me. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. No, they probably wouldn't. The text is a warning while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. Yeah. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Mm-hmm. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. Yeah, it's... They, but how could the killer know so much about us? Probably because we've all been hanging out together after you guys got abducted. Could he be watching us from somewhere? He might have seen us in the TV if he was in there too. Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. They're watching the TV. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? We might have. I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel <clears throat> haven't said anything. Was this during a time when pranks were actually funny and harmless instead of malicious for clout? Yes. <laughs> this was before that time. The internet wasn't a thing, really. Not like it is now, anyway. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. Mm -hmm. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. Mm -hmm. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. Tell the others. We'll have to wait until the situation changes. All right. Mind if I change the subject then? Go right ahead. The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh, yeah. It hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon, but aren't they still gathering ideas? 
Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Oh boy, what are we doing? Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. Hey, Senpai. Have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. I was going to bring Marie. <laughs> she just had to say something. If it's that important, I'm bringing Marie because we agreed to date her. Classes have ended. Was the warning letter a prank? However, because you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until something occurs. Now, Toe! Now, Toe. Now, Toe is not here. Son of a butt! Well, we can hang out with the, uh, the young mother if, uh, if Hitachi is not at the store. He is at the store! Oh! Seems he is slacking off. We might get along well. It's not ready to advance just yet. We spend the afternoon with him. Yes. <laughs> we'll gain more stuff so that we can hopefully advance his uh, story as quick as possible. Because I think the way this works is that on... Um, Certain certain hangout advancements, I think, are tied to, you know, when plot stuff occurs. So I think the story itself needs to advance a, a certain distance for us to be able to hang out, you know, like, do a, a, an advancement hangout with Adachi again. But I think that the, um, the XP towards those things does gather in the meantime. So if they're both available, we can probably bang each of them out like one right after another, if that's how that works. I'm pretty sure that's how it works because it's what it seems to be doing. We will be closer soon. Cool. All right. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Yeah, cool. I can work at the janitor. And also hang out with Nanako. First, let's get veggies. Can I fast forward through this bit? They look yummy. Don't think I can. What seedling? I have none. We will have to get some. All right, let's save. Let's go find out if Adachi exists. I forgot to check the roof for that girl again. That's okay. Hi. Oh. Okay. Well, actually... Level 6 with the nurse. I think we'll advance if we go to work. It will deepen. Alright, then let's go. Let's hang out with the potential problem. Thought you heard something. Decide to ignore it. Courage can't get any higher. I am as brave as possible. Oh. You can hear the nurses talking amongst themselves. Um, which, which room was it again? The one with the patient Uihara-san mentioned? What? You better get going now or she'll yell at you. She's been really scary lately. She's been trying to... Oh! Oh. If you have time to chat, you have time to go and check on all the patients. Nakata-sen, room 512. Did you finish just, uh, oh my god, disimpacting the patient? I, I was just about to go. I see you're skilled at slacking off. Takahashi-san, the equipment order form wasn't filled out properly in several places. 
I'm sorry, I'll fix it. I've already fixed it and sent it in. Just go. She's having a midlife crisis and acting like one of my former bosses. Good job. You can. I see you're working. That's good. I'll be going then. Layoko looks a bit pale. She also seems to be very tired. Uh... This is probably the kinder thing to say. You should get some rest. I'm fine. I can still work. I'm happy you were thinking about me, Beth. She smiles awkwardly. Ah! Telling her uh, to hang in there would have been the better one. But that's okay. Yeah. Very nice and clean. <laughs> I like you because you don't flack off. Sayoko, praise your work ethic. You feel that she trusts you. Cool. Hopefully enough to convince her to stop being kind of predatory. Power to create personas of the Devil Arcana has gone up. Oh, I don't have time to hang around here either. Going to be another all-nighter for me. I'll be going. Goodbye. Alright then. Goodbye now. I got paid. Alright. We can hang out with the, um... The young mother today. If Nato is not available. Over here, students talking. The culture festival is going to be Saturday and Sunday next week. There's a rumor that one of the classes still hasn't decided what they're going to do. Yeah, that's pretty common. They'll argue about it forever, but in the end, they'll end up with something lame like a rest area. <laughs> Only one more week left to get ready. I need to get fired up, too. I don't like the mentality that people have to work 100% all the time at work. The human body cannot just continue to go for eight hours, says Ferb. I agree. Your work begins to suffer, too, after a certain amount of time without sleep. It gets worse and worse and worse. So, even if you're like, oh, but if I, you know, I might not get it done if I go to sleep now, go to bed. Because then you'll be able to do it right. And it's better to have it be unfinished and right than to be finished and wrong. Because then you'll get in deep shit with your boss. Or teacher or whatever. Or you'll be disappointed in what you made if the only one holding you accountable is you. Well, as you all know, next week is the culture festival. Excellent. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. Well, I believe Yosuke had an idea, and I'm sure we will hear it in a moment. You guys don't care, do you? We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Oh, boy. Wow. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Well, I mean, you didn't think of anything, so, I mean... <laughs> yeah, but the easier the better, right? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. That's Yosuke. Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? It was you, I'm sure. Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's a group date cafe? It's, I'm assuming, where people go for group date. <laughs> Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. What will you vote for? I mean, the group date cafe is, is clearly the most interesting thing on here. So I think I'm going to go vote for that. But, uh, <laughs> a break area, video room, study room, group date cafe. And you just look and turn in the sheet. All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is group date cafe. Second vote, group date cafe. Everybody voted for the group date cafe! Huh? Seriously? 
Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Group date cafe, group date cafe, study room, group date cafe. We are doing a group date cafe. All of the votes have been counted. The group date cafe is in first. Well, first place? What are we gonna do? Don't ask me, this is your fault. I do wonder though, do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? Probably not. I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. I'm not grouped unless oh unless it's like a mixer it might be like a mixer where you sit an equal number of guys an equal number of girls on each side of the table and they chat together to see if any of them are compatible and then they make babies and then the population increases <laughs> what the you voted for it i did too yeah I thought it would be sad if no one voted for I it. I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. <laughs> oh my god, Yukiko, you precious, precious summer child. But Yosuke's the one behind it. Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Does sound like the most interesting thing on there, but Yosuke, I'm not entirely sure that you know what it is you've suggested. Oh, Ferb forgot you were here, Mikey, because you were so quiet. <laughs> Mike's doing doing sound work at the same time, I believe, so. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Yeah, what's our budget? Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? That's also a good question. Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? That is also true. She is a big creep. Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. Kashiga uh, Kashiwagi is our new teacher after King Moron got murdered. She's the one who keeps complaining how... how uh, Everybody should be looking at her and not any other girls because high school and she's jealous of high school girls because boys want to date them and the boys should be wanting her body because she's hot. She's the one with her shirt unbuttoned all the time. Two That's things. Why she's leaving it up to us one, to decide what to do. Having been a high school boy. <laughs> boys, the boys do look at the teachers, okay? But the second yeah. thing is... Oh, the, the girls second... look at the male teachers, too. Yeah, no, I'm well aware. Uh, the But the other the other thing is... Girl, you gotta get yourself some self-esteem. If you, if, right? you're, if you care about what high school students think about you, you got, you got some problems. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, she wants, basically, she wants every, every man to be into her because she's mad when the teachers aren't into her. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it is creepy because they are her students. But yeah, and they're I, I think, underage. I think it's less so that, I think it's less so that factor and more so that she's just so, like, starved of yeah, validation. Yeah, so desperate and pretty fucking pathetic that she's like, But no, why would you date someone your own age and not ogle my cleavage? Man, have some fucking self-respect. Holy I mean, shit. Well, but also, they can ogle their your cleavage without dating you. <laughs> yeah. Also, dude, again, self-respect, lady. Is this the kind of attention you want from people? Is that just what you're gonna do forever, is be bitter and unhappy whenever a younger person than you gets a date? Go. But, but well, I, again, I don't, like, I, while, again, I have to emphasize, it is creepy that she's into her own student. I oh, am. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it has to do with, like, age to her. Because yeah. she, she, she gets upset that her that her own peers don't, yeah. don't uh, lust after her either. So that just sounds like a large, like, yeah. she's... personality disorder. Yeah, <laughs> she's, either, she's either got a very large ego issue or her Narcissism. ego... Yeah, she's either a severe narcissist. 
or she's got such little self-esteem that if all attention isn't on her, she's fucking devastated. And I guess I mean, since she's both conventionally are very similar to each other, this is true. And I'm guessing that uh, since she is conventionally attractive, she's probably like, oh, well, I'm hot. That should be enough for people to give me all of their attention. And when they don't, she freaks out. It's kind of sad and pathetic. All right. Well, I guess now we have to figure out what the hell to do about a group date cafe. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Yeah. Group date cafe? Are we going to get <clears throat> any customers with this? If you, if they're people who are dating, maybe. Seriously, what is a group date cafe? I voted for it and I didn't even know. Yosuke, you better tell him. Oh my gosh. How the heck's this gonna turn out? A disaster. And I am here for it. In nine days, it'll be Halloween as well. So you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait. Yep. All right. Let's go downstairs and see if Nato will hang out with us. Nato. Oh, thank God. He's here. Yo. Oh, Yusan. Um, thank you for saving me. I apologize, but I have something I want to think about. The room bears uh, Ah! The rumor about the suspicious man who's been spotted in the shopping district. Uh, but we have the uh, bigger fish to fry. Nato seems lost in thought about something. It seems that you need some sort of opportunity before you can become closer. Let's find the weirdo in the shopping district. Assuming that they are not just out in the rain. Or assuming that they are out in the rain. Let's look for a weird guy. Are you a weird man? He just has talking about fog. All right. Uh, have you kids seen weirdness? They're talking about fog again. Nobody here. Nobody here. Hmm. So we need to look for a strange guy in the shopping district when I'm guessing it's not raining. And we can't go to the daycare because it is fucking raining. Alright. Adachi! God damn it. Alright, well, she'll sell, sell me things. Hello. Are you friends with the boy whose pa owns this place, aren't you? You know, I saw you two putting on a show on the roof the other day. The owner's son and the other workers helped clean up after the concert. I think he must have forgotten this after they finished up and he changed out of his work clothes. Could you give it to him? Ah! New costume for Yosuke. Counting on you. Alright, cool. Do you need some seedlings? These are the ones I have right now. Um, I'll take them both, actually. Buying... I will buy a daikon seedling as well. Thank you. Sold out of everything now. Please come back again tomorrow. Cool. Uh, let's go into town and see what I can do. Oh, yes. I need to check the roof. You're right. She may not be there because it's raining, but that's where that lady, that girl we need to talk to was. Nope. She's not here because it's raining. Oh, rain ruins everything. And because I'm a genius, I can't even pass the time while studying. Oh. Uh, I walked past his store. Come here. It's raining today. My heart is full of art since told me it's because I don't see many rare materials. Do I have anything to sell you? No. All right. Um, let's see who has what. Okay. Don't have enough for teddies. <gasps> now Toe needs gear. All right.
Oh, yeah. All right, uh, let's show the info. Charm embedded in the fabric. Uh, let's do this. I didn't know Naoto had earrings. Alright, let's... Give Nanto a better thing. What are what is his thing? Nope. Uh yeah. Ooh, Nanto's level fifty five, excellent. What does your persona do? Uh, physical damage, fire damage, wind damage, darkness. Deals heavy physical damage, almighty damage, and light. Wow. So this one is a light, a light fizz person thing. Okay. Cool. Medium chance to instantly kill a foe. All right. Well, in that case, let's see what kind of cool shit we can give Nato. Nato has a pretty well-rounded uh little dude. All right. Reduces the chance of exhaustion. Increases the agility. That might be good. Let's see what else we have. Oh no, that is all we have. Okay, the flight strap will be good then. To be even faster. Oh yeah, I don't know what... Uh... Oh, it's a shirt, I think. I think that's what his is. Okay, cool. Well, good. Uh, I don't really have anything to sell, though, I don't think. Alright. Uh, what can we do? Hmm... Well, let's see if there's anybody we can hang out with. I don't see any exclamation points from people. Which is unfortunate. Anybody in the practice building? Nope. God, there's nobody to hang out with on days like this. I guess maybe we can go into the TV for a little? Got about ten minutes, so maybe we should you know what, let's let's do that. We'll go into the TV and we'll see what kind of stuff we can we can find. Oops, that is not the right place. We'll see if we can say and solve some of these quests that we have building up. Yeah. Everybody in the food court. Let's go. Hey Senpai, what are we going to do today? Let's Go on the TV. Let's go. Well, that Nato probably wants to check out his persona. I want to see how he works too. Yep. Senpai, another powerful shadow is hanging around. It's where Nato Kun was. Does this happen when people who made these places leave them behind? Oh, that's true. I didn't think to the roars, but it worries me that they keep appearing like this. That is true, there is a new boss in each of these places, and I don't think I've gone to them. So we'll have to do that. Let's save here. Alright, let's have a look at our quests. What do we need to do? My show's better at speaking, we are already taking care- Okay, demon statue. Press a by male student from classroom building 2F, bring him a de demon statue. Where can we get those? Let's find out. I actually don't remember if we have gone to any of the boss rooms. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I actually have completely forgotten. Uh, let's see. We want uh, Persona 4. Or demon statue. Where is it? Do, 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 do. This quest has a time limit. Oh, well. Finish it before August 31st. Well, we are too late. Okay, he's asking for... It's in Yukiko's castle... The anime enemy is called a magical magus. They are on floors six and seven. All right. Well, let's try. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't like it. Sorry. You. And you. Come here. And, um, what won't we have? We won't have eyes. So I guess you will be our healer. Let's continue for the sixth floor. Um, we were pretty far up here, actually, weren't we? Do we have a demon statue? And I just didn't hand it in. Elderly man asked me to find coal. Okay, so I have the coal. Okay. I have the coal for the old guy, so that's good. Oh, I'm wearing the cleaning uniform still. I forgot. No, not you. Hold on. I need to change my outfit. There we go. Actually, everybody should change into their winter clothes, shouldn't they? Are you a magic man? Nope. Uh -huh, so that one's weak to darkness. Wow, it's puny. This one... I'm too zap. Two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. <laughs> Enemy defeated. I could start to this heart. And dead. Great job. And you. Aha! Yours, be careful. There's an enemy immune to fire. And done. Brute force isn't my style. Got a smoky quartz. Did not get a demon statue. Damn it. Oh, shite. Unless that's not a magical mages. Hello. Ooh, a disguise mask. Don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, acquire a demon statue. Yep. Ah, uh -huh, so that one's weak to darkness. Well, it's about to die. And now it's dead. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, now it's just fucking ended everybody. Thank you, Nato. Nato can's real good. Um, two more. Oh, hi, CC. Don't worry. Stream will be over in a little bit, and then you can get all of the pets you want. And food. I know what you're looking for. It's okay.
Door. Oh, hello everybody. Do you have things for me? I got a chest key. Excellent. Whoops. Sorry. And an ointment. Thunderbah. Ah. Be careful. You're There's a magical, yeah, magical mages. Alright, what are you weak to? Light will work. Excellent. Okay, bird. One. Go for it. Let's Persona. fucking go. Give statue. Please. Supple metal. God damn it. Drop rate is apparently crap. Oh, yours. Be oh. careful. There's an enemy immune to fire. Ugh, it's quite tenacious. Die. Thank you. Go to town, Senpai. Darkness will work. Cool. Supple metal hard horn. Man, so annoying. Alright, let's find the stairs. So it says they're on the sixth and the seventh floor, so. Go, Sukuna, oh, Hikuna! That one's immune to ice. I love that his persona That's has, like, this giant lightsaber. Cool. None shall escape! Jesus Christ. He's fucking powerful. I love it. Alright, Thunder Bell. Stairs? Ah, good. No. Fantastic. Alright, let's look. I mean, these we should be able to kill pretty easily now. Oh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. <laughs> Oops, I missed. Ah! Finish this one off. <laughs> There's Sona. Damn, couldn't finish it. Last one. Go for it. <laughs> and got it. Good. At least we'll get a bunch of money. Okay, two magical oh, magic. Hmm, watch it. That one's immune to fire. I couldn't defeat it. Are these light? You, yes. Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. <laughs> Although they Come may just die from this. You're too weak to fight me. Damn Skippy. Ah! Metal? <sighs> Oh, you know, maybe they're not showing up anymore because I've missed the deadline. Is that a thing that can happen? Hold on. Let me check. I may just be pointlessly trying to. Mm. Uh, I can't find it. It says it's dropped by it. I fought a couple dozen of them now. All I've got are metals. Is this a limit? 
After a while, some NPCs will leave the town. This is the case for the twins. Maybe it's that case for that student. In some cases, the enemy will drop a normal items even if it is accepted. Okay. All right, that would be what happened then. So, this quest cannot be completed, or rather, I need to talk to them again and find out that I failed. Well, poop. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. That's what the, um... Where are they? A return icon. There we go. Get out of here. Return to the entrance, please! I will save. Well, I guess next time for a little bit we'll see about getting all of the things for our quests. But that'll be all for now. Well, once the stream catches up, it looks like we're doing some pretty funkatastic lag. This keeps happening. It's definitely my provider. So, yeah, it looks like it lagged pretty hard right there. Alright, well, I'll do my wrap-up and hopefully it will catch up with itself. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon and give a special shout out to Jack Fox, Old Monster, A Furb Among Us, Dizarin, and Revolution72. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I'd also like to give a big thank you to everyone else watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know with a like and a comment. Be sure to have a look at the other videos on my channel and subscribe so you never miss a new one. Links to my Patreon, Twitch, and all my other socials are in the description below the video. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!